Hey guys, today I want to make a look that is inspired by Jordana Brewster. Um, she's my favorite actress, she's my favorite everything. I love the way she looks, Her, she's really natural and simple, and I just love her so much. So today this look is inspiration of her and a little bit of, you know, get, she's, she's really simple makeup. So it's gonna be a simple look, but sultry, smoky brown look. She's always rocking that in the red carpet or any event, and I love it. So today let's try to look like a dinner rooster. Okay. So I already have my face primed. I have the MAC primer on, and I already have some of the L'Oreal True Mineral Match powder on. And all I need right now is concealer, so I'm going to start right away with the concealer of the VS Pro. Right there, this is fair, and it's so eye brightening, so just a little goes a long way. Just a little bit underneath the eye area, and just... So I have a picture of her in front of me, so I'm going to try to recreate her look as much as possible as I can. Maybe I'll show you this picture that I have of her. Get a good look at it. You can see that she uses a lot of brown tones and bronze look, a nude lip and mascara. She has thick eyebrows, and I have thick eyebrows, so this look kind of goes hand in hand because it's easier for me to achieve. And then, um, so I have my powder on, my under eye is ready, and now I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to use this as my, I'll start off with my, uh, the Master Glaze from uh, Maybelline Face Studio, and this, I'm just going to put it in my eye area, just to give it like a, like a shimmery uh, little gloss that is kind of similar to the picture. Or just a little more brown, but, you know, you try to like, just something similar. I like this because it gives it a shimmer look. Like that. And then let's move on to the um, eyeshadow. She has a brown eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use the Victoria's Secret the Press Mineral Bronzing Powder. I use it sometimes as eyeshadow, so you can do that too. And what you can do, so you don't get your fingers on it, you can use a little um, professional eyeshadow brush and valve. Just dab a little bit of Let's get a little bit of this color. It's a little darker. It looks more like the ones that she has on in the picture. Let's press. Like so. And then just smear it. A little bit more. Got a little bit of the eyeshadow on my top lid area, which it's fine. No, no worries about that. What you can do is, you know, take a little bit of the NYC Moisture Reflex and just. It doesn't look so brown. Just tap a little bit there in the arc, eyebrow arc. And 
very luminous look. She's a very luminous girl. Her skin's beautiful. I love her skin so much. So let's just try to achieve that. Just go like that. It's already just looking good. on to the mascara. It's always better to put the eyeshadows first and then the mascara. For me it is. And here I'm using my volum Voluminous False Fiber Lashes from L'Oreal. My favorite mascara. Just apply as many coats as you want. Let's do a lot of coats. <laughs> Then let's go and let's work on, so this is what I'm going to do. I have a black and a brown eyeliner and I have here a Master Smoky Eye Studio which I love because it comes with a little smudger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown eyeliner, it's from Milani. It's just, you know, regular eye, just brown liner. And I'm going to um, not go in the waterline, but just go beneath here, this eye, the eye shot, the eyelash line. Okay, so, so, so. You don't want to get the waterline because what we're going to do is mix, put the, uh, the black eyeliner in the waterline. So just get a little smudger. If you have a smaller one, it's fine. And just like smudge it out a little bit to create that little smoke, smoke effect. That's what they call it. Smoke. You see? It's already starting to look a little smudged. Now, I will take my black eyeliner. This is from Rimmel London Scandal Eyes. It's really nice because it's really black. And then just line in the water lines. So you have that black and little brown look. Smudge them together, it looks really, really fierce. to the smudger. Mix it up a little bit like so. It's the spot. Okay. Starting to look. Trying to achieve the look. And now I notice that she has a little bit of black liquid eyeliner. She doesn't put it all the way in, so I'm going to use my um, the ultra, fi ultra Fine Liquid Liner from Milani. And it's, um, it's a really nice color. It's black with little sparkles. So I'm not going to do the line all the way in, just like halfway. Just, it's like a tiny little cat eye. Stop right 
there. Where kind of eyelashes kind of stop right there. It's good. Like they don't stop, but you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Even. I'm gonna go a little bit more. This, this eyeliner, it's not really thick enough. So. There we go. Good to look. Even. And next, let's move on to little bronze. She has a little bronze look. Healthy glow. I'm using the same uh, bronze powder I use for my um, eyes. And just it's not about contouring. Just you know, just make it look a little bronze look. You don't have to contour. Just a healthy glow. Pretty sure she covered a little bit of her forehead too. So let's just a little tiny like that. Like so okay. And now let's move on to the lips. And here she has kind of like a really simple nude pink color, which I like. I'm going to use my um, nude Milani lip liner. Just And then I'm gonna get this um, from Milani also. I'm a Milani girl. <laughs> this is a Dulce Caramelo, number 27. It's a really pretty color. Just put a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. And blush, just a little blush to make it a little bit healthy, healthy blush look. I'm using the VS, um, what is this called? Luminous Mineral. Comes in two shades. I use a little pink, just a little the top part. Boom, boom. Jordana has like, you know, she has kind of small eyes, and I have small eyes, but it's kind of like to kind of like really imitate her look. I'm going to make my eyes look a little smaller. I'm gonna be like, how do you do that? Well, I can't find it. Um, <laughs> here it is. I want to get a little bit more of the eye brightening pen, and I'm just gonna like re do these lines right there, and just. Make my eyes look a little smaller. It's also it's all, it's, it's always um this area. When you conceal this area here, it makes your eyes look smaller. If you want to make your eyes look smaller, everyone loves to make their eyes look bigger, but sometimes okay, you can make them look smaller too. <laughs> And 
last but not least, our finishing touch. The to reflex again. Just dab it just a little bit on your nose to give that little shine cuteness. You can even put a little bit in the tear, tear duct area. And now, since her Dana's hair is always down, she has like the bangs, she rocks the bangs, and I have bangs right now, kind of growing out, but hey, I like it work for you guys so you can see the finishing look. This is my own Jordana Brewster inspired look. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.